For the 13th day of Polytimus, we will be talking about the pros of every single president in American history, except for Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and Joe Biden. First up, George Washington. He created the president to leave the office after two terms. He established the presidential cabinet. He didn't veto many bills, and he's a very iconic person for being the first president of the United States. John Adams had the XYZ affair, and it avoided a war with France. Thomas Jefferson had the Louisiana Purchase. He cut U.S. debt in half. He had the Lewis and Clark Expedition, and he kept the U.S. out of the Napoleonic Wars. James Madison had great leadership during the War of 1812, and he was very popular among Americans. James Monroe had the era of good feelings. He also had the Monroe Doctrine, which called for an end of European colonization in the Western Hemisphere. And he was the first president to give an inaugural address to the public, and he signed the Missouri Compromise to keep the country together. John Quincy Adams reduced the debt from $16 million to $5 million, and he purchased Florida from Spain. Andrew Jackson got rid of the National Bank. He gave poor white men the right to vote, and he got rid of the debt. Martin Van Buren set up the bond system. William Henry Harrison, well, there isn't much that he did, but I guess that he gave the longest inaugural address in American history. John Tyler started trade and negotiations with China, and he set the president that the VP takes over if the president dies. James Polk achieved all of his campaign promises in a single term. He expanded America to the Pacific, he annexed Texas, and he got the Oregon Territory. He also got California, and he lowered tariff rates. Zachary Taylor wanted to have a peaceful coexistence with natives. He wanted to keep the balance of free and slave states, so he wanted New Mexico and California to become states, and he was also a very respected military leader. Millard Fillmore opened trade with Japan, and he protected Hawaii from France and Britain. Franklin Pierce had the Gadsden Purchase, and he tried his hardest to stop the Civil War by being buddies with the South. James Buchanan tried to keep peace by having a cabinet filled with Northerners and Southerners. Abe Lincoln had the Emancipation Proclamation, he won the Civil War, he saved the Union, he had the Gettysburg Address, and he brought up the idea that women should have the right to vote. Andrew Johnson, it is hard to find a good thing about him, so we're just going to skip him. Ulysses S. Grant ratified the 15th Amendment, and he established national parks, and he restored stability in the country. Rutherford B. Hayes believed in equal rights. He vetoed the Chinese immigration ban, and he started the idea that government jobs should go to qualified people. James A. Garfield believed that the government should be reformed, and he was pro-civil rights. Chester A. Arthur passed civil service reform. Grover Cleveland had a great economy in his first term. He had low inflation, and he opposed high tariffs. Benjamin Harrison passed the Dependent Act, which gave funds to American veterans. William McKinley had a great economy. He annexed to Hawaii. He led America through the Spanish-American War, and he led the tradition into America becoming an imperial power. Theodore Roosevelt, he had the Panama Canal, he was known for his national park effort, he fought corruption, he ended trusts, and he created the Department of Commerce and Labor. William Howard Taft supported the 17th Amendment, he promoted peace and foreign affairs, and he fought trusts, just like Theodore did. Woodrow Wilson, he had the 19th Amendment, he won World War I, he lowered tariffs, he kept America out of the First World War for as long as he possibly could. Warren G. Harding fought for African American rights, he pardoned Eugene Debs, he appointed William Howard Taft as the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, which I think is pretty cool. Calvin Coolidge passed the Indian Citizenship Act, he cut taxes, he oversaw the Roaring Twenties, he reduced the national debt, and he used laissez-faire economics, and he reduced spending. Herbert Hoover donated his salary to charity, and he had the Hoover Dam. FDR repealed Prohibition, he turned the tide of World War II, he won World War II, and he ended the Great Depression. He also set up the New Deal, which gave us Social Security. Harry Truman ended World War II, he worked towards civil rights, he was anti-Jim Crow, and he had the Marshall Plan, and he recognized the State of Israel. Dwight D. Eisenhower ended the Korean War, he set up the interstate highway system, he had a great economy, he balanced the budget, and he created NASA. John F. Kennedy ended the Cuban Missile Crisis without starting a nuclear war. He introduced civil rights legislation, and he was very influential for NASA, and he proposed tax cuts before he died. Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Voting Rights Act of 1965. He introduced Medicare and Medicaid, and he had a good economy and a good relationship with Congress. Richard Nixon ended the draft. He created the EPA and OSHA. He opened trade with China, and he worked to desegregate schools in the South. Gerald also- Ford was the first president to visit Japan. He cut taxes, and he pardoned Richard Nixon. Jimmy Carter had the Israel-Egypt peace deal. He emphasized human rights. He created the Departments of Energy, Education, and Health and Human Services, and he promoted renewable energy. 
Ronald Reagan ended the recession, he helped end the Cold War, he strengthened the military, he cut taxes, and he had an economic boom. George Herbert Walker Bush tried to stop growing government deficits by raising taxes, he had the American Disabilities Act, he increased environmental regulations, and he drove Iraq out of Kuwait, and he handled the end of the Cold War very well. Bill Clinton had a booming economy, and he created a lot of jobs, he also reduced the deficit. George Walker Bush had great leadership after 9-11, he lowered taxes, and he brought up Israel-Palestine peace talks. There you go, those are the pros of every single president. If there are some that I missed, let me know down in the comments below. It would be very appreciated, I take any criticism that I can get. And I just didn't talk about Obama, Trump, and Biden because they've been president really recently and I feel like it's not the right time to grade their presidencies. And with that, thank you guys for watching. And remember that every day throughout the month of December until Christmas, we will be releasing a brand new YouTube video. See you guys next time.